as promised, my guest today, none other than Richie Spice. Good afternoon, Richie. Yes, three things in the name of his imperial majesty and brother Celestia. I give thanks to life, strength, and strength. Every living thing that move it and creep it up on the face of the earth, hear the king this time. Blessed love, my lad. Respect, respect, respect. Hey, listen, you know, let me tell you this. And I said it on the radio over and over and over and over that right now, my favorite root singer are Richie Spice. <laughs> <laughs> you know that, right? Real, yeah, man, my real, favorite real. root singer right now. Back in the 80s, I tell you, it was um, Admiral Tibet. Mm-hmm. Early 90s, it was Garnet Silk. Mid yeah. 90s, up, it was Luciana. Uh, from mm-hmm. uh, tw- what, uh, 2005, 2006, somewhere about there. Mm-hmm. Uh, it has been Richie Spice. And Richie uh, Spice. Yeah, yeah, man, Richie Spice. I go back in your family line, as you know, <laughs> long before you pick up your first mic. Because um, you are the younger brother to, to Pliers. Yes, I am. Yeah. And I have worked with Pliers, um, was it 1988, 89, somewhere about there. And So mm-hmm. the Banner family is a family I'm quite familiar with. And uh, yes, it's, yes. it's a pleasure to continue working with the Banner family. You've come to the support over the years, man. Yeah. Uh, the first time you came to Florida, I I believe it was was the first time you did a show. Was it the first time when I when we did a show together, uh, 2006? That was your first yeah. time? Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. So you, you, you see the history there. I just want, want people... It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there, yeah. Um, I spoke to... Last week I spoke to Itana. And I was telling her, I didn't even know that she was at that show. Years after I saw a picture and I saw her and I asked my wife, what was she doing there? And I was told mm-hmm. that she um, she was your backup singer. How did that relationship, how did you get to choose her as your backup singer? Well, I met her through the management team. It was the element management team I mm-hmm. met her at the time, yeah, and, you know, um, she used to show up at the studio, and then, you know, find out that she have a, a great voice, you know? Right, right. Yeah, so that's where she started out. So, so you took that's her on the road the wherever you went? Yes, I did, I did, yeah. Uh, what's, the relation- what's the relationship today with you and her? Nice man, nice vibes, nice young lady, you know. Right, right. With spirit and fear, you know. Did you see that quality, that star power in her at the time? Yeah, man, so that she have a great um, vocal. Right, right. great vocalist, and we see that she have that potential range, which means. Right. You know, um, she she can be a solo artist, and then, you know, start introducing her on the stage by herself, so she open and all these things, you know. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So you, you did see that quality from those days that she can yeah, be a star. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, because, you know, a lot of artists, a lot of artists, especially female artists, they get their start in various ways. Um, mm-hmm. Because it's so hard for them to get a break, you know. Um, yes, if, yes. If, if it means starting out being a, a backup singer, uh, Dennis Williams and um, so many of them have, have started out that way. And yeah. for you to be able to recognize that talent and give them their platform, that's also saying a lot about you as an artist. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, you see two people and you see them, them um, reaction, you see, you see them vocal, you know, we know that everyone started from somewhere. Right. You know, so, um, yeah. Give her a try and, 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 and you know, a chance, and then, right. you know, she was a very forceful person, likewise, to right. try out there and make it as she wanted, you know. And, and in your yeah, case, and, in your case, Richie, y- your your first big tune is an old tune that was recorded, what, five, six, seven years before it really hit? What happened with yeah. that song? How, how did that happen? First, you recorded, and... It... Well, for, for, first, you know, first, uh, I, I recorded it, um, properly, mm-hmm. you know, from the beginning, and then, it was there, I mean, you know, I always go and sing it, 
you know, here in Jamaica, I always get this big applause, sorry, and, and sing. You know, wherever time I sing it, and whenever time I sing it. Um, you know, but uh, behind it now, people never really, people always just hear the song, you know. Mm-hmm. The, the people think that is our elder, the person sing it, you know. Oh, okay, okay. And, yes, until, um, you know, we did a video through um, Element, mm-hmm. Element, if Element, and then that's where, you know, people see that, you know, it was a young man. Why you know, <laughs> it was a young man? Yes, and I sing. This is the song, I'm, you know, right. the meaning of the song, I'm, the music of the song, and the period, and gravitate to it, and that was it. So, so y- you're talking five years later after the song was released. Were you surprised yes, when Kurt Aaron later, Red yeah. just bustled by the scene? Were you surprised? Well, uh, I would say surprised, you know. I would say surprised because I know it was a good song, and you know, back in the time when I was promoting and all these things, mm-hmm. you know, the response that the song get, I know it's a great song with, with great potential. Right, right, right. You right. know, but I was more more happy, you know, than uh, of course, that. You know that <laughs> yeah, yes. you know that someone, you know, come along and give me that energy and that strength and the right. song, you know, so it could, people could hear it, you know. Now, Richie, you from a, a you you are from a singing family, right? Who your mother or your father both of them were you, were the influence? Who was the who was the musician? Who was the singer from from your parents from that root that you span a banner, pliers, you know? Ba- sure. st- huh? Who, 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 um, who was well, it? Your mother or father or both? No, well, apparently um, it started out when we leave from Africa, and that little boat twelve feet long by four feet wide. <laughs> right. So, yes, yeah, so apparently you now we, we end up here in Jamaica. We are, um, you know, you know, the four parents, children, children, and thing, and everything in you know, them from that time and right, right. up to that time. My father was that person who used to play drums. Uh-huh. So he was five years old. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he used to play drums at, drum at a, a church. Right. Uh, yeah, my mother now was a person who, in which means she had a strong voice. She had a vocal, very, very strong. Right. Was very strong. Um, she used to hear her sing all the time, but when I'm more like when she was in and all these things. You know? Okay. Yeah. So I guess that is where it, 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 did, yeah, did it's she similar. Did she encourage the, the, you guys to take up entertainment or to pursue it? Uh, did she encourage you? Well, I mean, she didn't know that it was there until, you know, a bigger brother who is flyers. You know, he started out because he started out singing on a sound system. Right. You know, so, and then, you know, he started to draw a lot of people, pull a lot of people from different different parts of the community and, right. you know, full out at night time and things. So he discovered it from that time and then, right. you know, mommy, you know, and 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 that, you know. Right, right. I, I'm going to mention a song to you. And, uh, you know, this is one of the. It, it wasn't a big hit, but this song I know means a lot to you and, and your your family, and it also means a lot to me. Because it is kind of sad and it's kind of happy. The song name Emotions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> love. Uh, uh, before I play it, tell us about this song. It's called Emotions. Well, that song were, were, were done by me and Bigger Brother players. Uh-huh. Um... Yeah, we said that we wanted to do a combination, and then now, uh, you know, I said that, yeah, why not sing something about our mother? Because, um, you know, over all, the, over all the years, you have done a lot of work and all these things for us. So, you know, I want to sing something to her so she can feel good and happy, you know? Right. So, like, you feel that song, um, free. This song is, is one of the best Mother's Day songs that I have heard. Yeah. yeah. I have heard. Yeah. yeah, here we go. The song is called Emotions, and it's. Spana Banner, uh, Richie Spice and Pliers on it. This, yes, yes, yes. The Banner Brothers oh, yeah. is more like the Banner yeah. Brothers, right? <laughs> nice song. Thing, man. And, and the, sad, the sad part about it that, uh, like, within a year or two, she, she had passed, right? Yes, yes, yes. Or you follow the history, man. Yo, brethren, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> follow the history. No, I really like your family. I, I like, you know, I like I like the Banner brothers. Well, before before you, but you know, I, I like 
Players was very shy, very unassuming well, young man. <laughs> very unassuming. Very shy, right? Yeah, very shy, very shy. <laughs> and I remember him. And the, the funny thing is, Richie, I never met him in Jamaica, you know. It's when he came to New York as my talent scout went to somewhere and saw him and said, you know, uh, boss, it's time to bring up players. And I'm like, you think so? Yeah. From, and from she said that, me said, well, fine. So I never mm -hmm. met him until he came into New York, was at the place, the location where we were going to stay, and I went there to meet him. But mm -hmm. upon meeting him, I realized that, okay, he's one of them shy ones. So, so I know, I follow yeah. your family history, Bedrin. I follow yeah, your man, family history. Yeah, man, I can't history. see that. I can't <laughs> see that. <laughs> you can't yeah. see that. But listen, you, over the years, you have put out some of the best root songs, you know, as a young artist. Why you focus on the root side, the conscious side, and in your age group, man, I think about love song and lovers rock and all of that. Why you concentrate on, on the conscious side of things? Well, um, as you always say, you know, in Earth, you have the positive or you have the negative, you know, so you know that uh, the two of them go together. So I choose to stick to the positive side, mm -hmm. you know, and um, I focus on that side. You know, we are just mean, um, we are just mean, you know, certain new type of music, whenever time I'm about to write, so there's certain type of music that come out of me, we are just mean, you know, me never plan for, but it does it it just, just come, come up, you know? <laughs> it just Naturally, come. Yeah. yeah. And it's not like we don't sing for the ladies, them too, because they balance the same way. Right, right. And you yeah. do have a good a good catalogue of love songs, but majority of your yeah. songs are very conscious songs. Yeah, for real. Yeah, we try to keep it that way, you know, for a better life, a better world, a better people. Now, the other song that is on my regular playlist that I play just a there's not a week past that I don't play this song. And anybody that, mm -hmm. that, that listens to me regularly knows say, You see Achunia? Achunia, my colleague in New York. I went to New York to see a show at, at the Nassau Coliseum. Bonnie Whale mm -hmm. and, and I Wayne was just come, had just come out. And my yeah. colleague in New York, the late T.K. Smith, said that mm -hmm. he had a song that him just get... It was kind of chilly too. And the man bring me out of the hotel lobby into the parking lot in Tune Care to hear the tune. And mm -hmm. he, said, he said, Mr. Lindsay, a tune yet bad it, bad it, bad it, bad it, bad it. And I said, okay, TK, <laughs> if you say it's bad, because I know he knows good music. And he mm -hmm. said, all right, I'll put on my scarf, because that's all I had in the lobby, and I went out in the parking lot. I love this song. And, you know, my listeners can't tell you, yeah, I love a tune, because I, I find ways and... and Conditions. If I'm talking about the youth or something happen, this is the tune I draw yes. for. Cause I really do believe that there's still a lot of righteous youths, people that are doing good things and they are not being recognized. Yes, man. There's a lot of positive people out there. Positive world with positive people. You know, as you said before, you have you have um, you have the, the, the negative and the positive. You know, right. but I mean, sometimes the, the positive might get overshadowed. You know. Because the negative might flare up at times, you know, but the positive does keep calm and keep it some more time and get overshadowed. But there's a lot of them out there. Now, let's talk about your no. new album. You have this new mm -hmm. album, Together We Stand. And first of all, let me thank you for this song being used a couple months ago in Jamaica to raise funds for, to help in, to raise funds. Frontline workers, yeah. Yes, uh, and I think it, it was so appropriate when they used this song because I couldn't think of another song, Richie, that they would mm -hmm. use as a theme. When yes, you approach, yes, yes. when you approach that for the permission or the rights for them to use it, what what were your thoughts? Go ahead. <laughs> you say go ahead, just like that. <laughs> yeah, man. No, go ahead, man. Do what you have to do because you know we know it's something that is um beneficial for our country and our people. So why not? Right, right, right. So you had no hesitation, that's what you said? No, not at all, not at all. Alright. Oh, by the way, I also think, say, you're one of the singers that will write the best rhythm. You write rhythm like you're a DJ. Were you ever a DJ? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. You write, I give you anything and you write it. You're like a garnet silk because he was a DJ, so you have a certain skill when you're a DJ and you're moving to singing because... The rhythm is the key. Were you ever a DJ, brethren? 
No, man, it's just, you see the love for the music, you know, and, and you know, you, you listen keenly and thing, and you try to do what you have to do properly, you know. Now, Richie, when I got the album, and I listen to the album, because artists like you may have to pay attention to, because what am I going to play from the album? And mm -hmm. I listen, and I listen, and I, and I thought the best track, and when I decided, I didn't even know VP had also decided that the song, that they were going to make the first single. Um, mm -hmm. Tell us about the Valley of Jehoshaphat. What, what, them kind of tune your brethren. You, you read the Bible a lot? You're, you're Bible but, yeah, man. We, I used to go to church from my local, you know, you growing up. You know, we've been to a lot of churches. We go to um, the Catholic, you know, and we have been to a uh, church of God. Right, right. You know, yeah, we tried those churches over over the years. Of growing up in, you know, mommy and daddy's home. Right, right, you right. Know, so that taught us a lot, and you know, we know we see and study church and theory and see the real thing, truth and and, and reality. So right, you know, right, right. All right. We we, we understand. You understand. You right. understand. You give this youth any rhythm. And him just but this, this song, this song, you know, Clinton. This what? song was originated, you know, by uh, Max Romeo. Is that Max Romeo produced. original? Yes, produced by Clive on from that time. Wow! I didn't so, do it again for yes. you. Yes, sir. And this time, now Clive brought it to me, and you know, the rhythm, the like, the, the version, and you know, the lyrics. Mm -hmm. You know, when Jack come from Buzz Rock. You know, and we say, yeah, man, it's a good vibe. So we, you know, the new pattern and the new style and the new, new life to it, you know. But you, you, you have made it your own, though. I, I mean, in many ways. Yeah, you, you because have... yeah, we, uh, yeah, we, we want to add the spice to it, you know, that um, it won't come out like it's our original. But you know, you, you also, <laughs> on some of your albums, you, you, you have a diversified set of songs because you do ballads. You do hardcore, you do, you, mm -hmm. you do kind of popish sort of thing. Cause when you listen to mm -hmm. "Grooving My Girl," that was just like yes. and the and the door knocking to be a pop song. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> right? What? Yeah, for real, for real, man. How, how do you come up with the titles of your of your of your album? Do you take it from a song, or are you you? You get the title and then well, work. How, how do you do that? Well, the title of this album first, you know, I was thinking the name of the album. The album. The album? Yeah. Okay. And then, um, you know, by listening to Together We Stand, you know, we kind of say, you know, let's switch it around and say, yeah, the album Together We Stand. Right, right. And I love the title for that. I love that title. Yeah, it just happened just like that, you know. No, no. Recently, a couple of days ago, one of one of the producers that you have worked with, the, the late Bobby Digital, was laid to rest. And mm -hmm. some of, some of your best tune them were were done with Bobby Digital. What kind of relationship you had with him? Oh, Bobby was such a a a, 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 a humble uh, musician, you know, music people and. It was a good vibe working among the body digital man because um you know him know the right with him them to keep you you know to 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 him know your key you know I mean him know the music you know so I mean it was I mean working with him and theory like that now he's he's a, he's, he's a man like this the way he's serious when it comes to his music you know if you and him right. do not work on a project or something. Nobody is going to come check him in. He said, yeah, check me back on next day because me, I can't talk to you now. Right. I was right, told and, um, I was told about Bobby okay. Digital that when you go to Bobby Digital, you have to come with your best. You can't come with what them call lunch money tune or dinner tune. If no, I'm, I'm don't, I'm don't, no, I don't play those type of music. <laughs> I don't. Don't play those you have to come hard. You have to come at your best. Yeah, you have to come professional, weird, which means. Yeah, you the pan key and you know we have what they are, what they doing makes sense and all this. Right, right. That's what I'm told about yeah. him. I mean I know him but I am told, you know, you listen to him a sizzler will give a producer just about any anything. 
But when you yes. go to Bobby Digital, you you come with your game, your end game. Yes, right? yes. You have to get your act together. <laughs> <to> <laughs> yeah, and and, and yeah. that applies to just about all the artists them that have come to him. Yes, yes. No matter who the person is. You know, if I, if it don't write, you go and tell her that. No, it's don't write. So you want to get a good time to go work back on it and come forward. Right, right. You could do it that way then. Yeah. So I spend is... time and put it together properly. How is your relationship with, with Clive Hunt? I noticed in the last couple of years you've been working with him very closely. Well, Clive Hunt is a boss, likewise, it's not a music fraternity, you know. I mean, Clive, Clive has learned a lot over the years. Mm -hmm. And Clive um, taught a lot over the years, likewise. You know, Clive is a person which means he can play any instrument. So, I mean, he 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 know, learn he know how to direct you. Right, he right. Here's a bridge, you know. He take you over the bridge. Right, right. You know, and 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 he, he play music right. Oh, good. Cause I noticed mm. you 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 work a lot with him. No, no, you're you're signed to VP Records. Uh, are you signed to them as an artist, or are you just distributor? What's the relationship there? Well, the relationship is that um. We VP distributing, mm -hmm. you know, this album. Um, um, VP is like more than signing, you know, because, right, right. you know, yeah, sometimes signing is difficult, you know, and getting in trouble. Right. So, yeah, so we play music and um, we play the music and support, we support VP, VP support us. Great, great, great. If, if, yeah. if, the, if the pandemic wasn't on, no, where would you be in the world right now, Richie Spice? I can't tell you, I couldn't tell you, I'll <laughs> be out there. You'll be I, out there somewhere. <laughs> I'll be out there, I don't know if it's Europe, Japan, America, US, Caribbean, Africa, I don't know. Um, where are some of the, your favorite places you love to perform? I do have a favorite place, Clinton, to tell you the truth, because I play the music for, for the people worldwide, mm -hmm. you know, and um, everyone has acceptance. I appreciate love and support me. Right. So right. everywhere I went, you know, I always um, greet the people that want this and that love, and they, they do likewise. Okay. Um, know that, yeah. know that you, there's no tours going on and you don't lock down in Jamaica. How do you spend your days? Well, uh, we find things to occupy our time, you know. Um, you know, you know, we originate from St. Andrew, so sometimes I find myself in St. Andrew doing a little um, you know, um, Garden. gardening. <laughs> you yes, can, man, you can plant and, some peas and so. <laughs> and plant, you can plant or plant or plant um, And then, if or not, I'm doing an interview. Right. You know, or I'm at the studio recording something. Right. If it's not too far, the five is not played. Um, then with me, you with them and thing. Oh my right. gosh, it's been a while, you know. Right, right, so right. I feel good to know that I can send that joy with them at times. Nice, nice, you nice. Know, um, oh, oh, are I'm your brothers? Oh, are your brothers? Well, everyone, everyone is great. My child's right here in our puffing ass place. Big is pleased to be like him, no. Who that? Snatcher. Oh, Snatcher. <laughs> yes, <laughs> man. Well, listen, Bridget, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what else to say to you, but all I can tell you, you just keep up the work where you do, because if, if, if you have anybody in your corner, you have Clinton Lindsay. Yes, man. I will ask the Clinton, man. They may not know that Mr. Lindsay Long here is a high man. I know, say. You're always by our side, you know. <laughs> the entire family. You know, see, yeah, you're always promoting and, and, and um, playing the music and supporting the music to the fullest. I'm putting out your you all in the music. We mean, we give thanks, you know. Yeah, man. And you yell up, yell up the rest of the family. Spanner Banner now lives in America, isn't he? Uh, does he live in um, in Florida right now. Yeah, Florida, I'm there. And players still down there. I saw him in the... Uh, yeah, man. Players there was, man. Yeah, when I yeah. came down for Rebel Salute in January, um, mm -hmm. saw him at uh, wherever that place was. Um, so, yeah, just say hello to them for me. And, and so, yeah. I will, I will, man. I will. And good luck with this album. Uh, we're going to be working this song, Valia Joasafat, and Red Hat, Red Hat, and, and the entire album. Mm -hmm. Together right. with Sam. Yes. Together with Yes, in Yes, Pintan, it's a pleasure talking to you, man. It's a pleasure talking to the public. Pintan, yes. keep on doing what you're doing because you're doing a good job, sir. All right, respect, Richard. Jalove. Hi, I'm Clinton Lindsay. 
Thanks for visiting my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Spread the word and visit us once again. Thank you very much.